Hi and welcome to tutorial 65 in this series of tutorials and programs which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're a part of our list then uh, apologies for the sound quality. I don't have my usual microphone. And uh, if you're not part of the list then please go to Markplex, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X dot com and uh, sign up for the email list and I'll be happy to let you know when I release new pr programs or tutorials. This, pr this tutorial follows on from tutorial 64 in which we hand drew a line on the chart and then I demonstrated how we could get some data about that line. In this program we've made some fairly significant changes behind the scene and also behind the scenes and also some to the functionality of the program. You'll see for instance that we've got the values at both ends of the line and then I've also added this value here which is equal to the difference between these two values multiplied by a multiplier and in this particular case if we go to the inputs you'll see that the multiplier is set in this case to big point value you could set it to anything you like so what I wanted to do is just go through the code uh, briefly and try and explain some of the changes that I've made to the tutorial 64 program and uh, again this program uh, tutorial program will be available for download for a nominal fee so anyway let's just go into the uh, development area and first thing you'll notice is we've added this using EL system and the reason for that is as we go further down you'll see I've used some date I've used date time and time span objects and in order to use those we have to declare up here using EL system uh, other things you'll notice is in all my inputs and variables I have specified the data type and uh, it's not strictly necessary to do this in TradeStation in general but it is good practice. So let's go into the code and I will try and explain some of the things that I've done. So the first thing um, in terms of the update line I've created this as a method and uh, we've done that by using the word method followed by void followed by the name of the method with the uh, the two closed, uh, closed brackets there and void means that it's not returning anything uh, in particular in terms of values it's actually going ahead and manipulating the line on the chart so a lot of this is similar to what we did before for instance draw to line ref gets the reference of the line on the chart and that, actually if you do use this program one thing I would suggest is just to make sure you don't have any stray drawing objects on the chart is just first of all go uh, drawing remove drawing objects remove all the trend lines and then you can just draw yourself another one and then you can manipulate that as you please. So uh, as I say a lot of the functionality stays the same. One of the things that uh, is different is I have tried to find a position in terms of date and time where that middle text goes and uh, I've done that using these date and time objects. Now it doesn't necessarily give us exactly the right position because in some cases there won't be a particular date or a particular time but I think this does demonstrate some useful uh, capabilities of easy language and uh, what we do is we uh, we have a, a date time object called start date time and uh, the syntax for that is date time dot then from el date time then we can put in the start line date and the start line time those are things that we have ascertained up here in terms of the position of the line we do the same for the end date time, another uh, date time object. And having got those, what we then do is extract the uh, date time values from both those objects to and uh, divide by two. Or rather, what we do is we take the um, the beginning uh, date time from the end date time, then we divide that by two, and then we go on to use the time span object and we create a new time span called half and we populate that with the values and the values that uh, go in there would be um, firstly the number of days in this time span then hours then minutes and uh, if you look at these and think about them you'll see 
uh, what I've done there. For example, the int portion of this, the date time, is going to be the number of days, and then I've used the int portion of brackets frac portion, um, the average times by 24. And uh, what I've then done, and uh, you can do this using these date time objects, is create, uh, or rather uh, set a new date time ob object called mid as being equal to the start date time object plus half and that is this um, time span here and then having done that we can get from the object the time of the day using the EL time and EL date and uh, if you want to know more about those things what I'd suggest is uh, firstly going through the trade station uh, videos that uh, that demonstrate some of these things and also if you right click for example on date time and uh, click definition you will get into the easy language object reference and uh, you should be able to find some more information there about this particular object and its uh, properties and methods etc there are also I notice on the forum some good uh, examples that will probably be helpful to you. So having, uh, having ascertained an approximate value for the middle date and time what we then do is say if text uh, doesn't exist already then we, we draw on the chart the end uh, text at the end of the line, text at the start of the line and then also text at the middle of the line and if the text has already been applied to the chart then what we do is we set the location of each of those uh, text drawing objects and also we change the string of the set uh, of the text drawing object and I think uh, similar to tutorial 64 if the line is subsequently deleted then we need to delete the the text of drawing objects which we do in that part of the program. So in terms of updating the line I'm also using the trade station timer and I'll demonstrate how to set this up in a moment but essentially what this does is every uh, so many milliseconds it will fire and run the update line method which is the uh, method that we just created up here which updates the line and the, the reason I did that is because uh, if you don't use that then really you're relying on a tick of the chart to occur before the line will be updated and um, if for example the market is closed or something like that that may not happen for a while but I've also got here uh, last bar on chart we also update the line so if there is a tick on the chart it will also update the line there so just to uh, demonstrate how you would go about setting up the timer, you can see we've got a little timer down here, is we would uh, create a new, and uh, let's just call it um, tutorial, or rather TUT65EG, and go OK. Then we'd go to our toolbox, and we'd find the timer, which in my toolbox is here. We drag that to the bottom of the chart like so and then click on that we then go to properties and here we can define how often the uh, timer will fire in terms of milliseconds if you wanted to have an input there you'd click this thing here and that would create an in input and you'll notice on the program that I'm showing you we, I did that and we have got an, uh, an interval and then the other thing is we would go to the um, little lightning bolt here and we're going to give it a name like uh, line update fired call it what you like press enter and then you'll see that uh, what that has very cleverly done is added the method to the chart and uh, what you do the, the things that you want the timer to fire you just enter in this area here so just going back to tutorial 65 you'll see that uh, we've got an interval here which determines at the moment that um, by default this will fire every thousand milliseconds of course you can change that although the more often that it fires the more um, processing your computer will be doing 
Anyway, um, I hope this program might be useful to you. Perhaps it's something that you would like to uh, study and uh, think about a little bit more. And uh, as I say, it is available for download if you go to markplex.com and uh, look for Tutorial 65. And uh, otherwise, please sign up for our email list. And uh, I look forward to uh, speaking to you and uh, doing another tutorial or program quite soon.